Okay, we're going to make a video on making caltrips, also known as tetsubushi. Uh, these are uh, spiked balls or uh, in a shape. Um, they're, they're also known as crow's foot in the um, old medieval days. They were used for horses uh, to throw down and uh, horses would step on them and um, uh, render the horse uh, somewhat useless as far as combat after it stepped on him. So anyway, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about these uh, different styles and um, just some general rules about these uh, weapons. Okay, so anyway, one of the things about the weapon uh, known as the uh, Tetsubushi or Caltrips is uh, they are very dangerous. Uh, these weapons are something that you really have to keep a close eye on because it's very easy to misplace one of these around the house. and. If you run around barefooted or if you've got kids or pets, if they step on one of these, let me tell you, there's going to be some crying going on. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to demonstrate in an upcoming video um, how to actually make these at home. Um, the, the, uh, I call these the round ones made out of lead and carpet tacks. These are my, uh, what I call combat uh, Tetsubushi. Uh, I had a friend one time, uh, I had sold him some of these that I had made, and um, he had these with him one night, and some guys started a fight with him. And uh, he told me that he took one of these out uh, that he was carrying, and he said he threw it, and he said it stuck in this guy's forehead. And he said that guy took off running like a bat out of hell when that thing hit him. I always kind of remember that story because it was kind of funny, you know. Uh, but anyway, very effective. These have got, these lead ones have got some weight to them. They're kind of hard to, to hold sometimes because of the points on them. They're, you can only hold a few and throw them, but man, I tell you what, these things here are deadly as can be. And then I've got another style, and um, they're kind of... Uh, what you'd call the crow's foot version. Um, unlike the round uh, combat type of uh, tetsubushi, these are much easier to carry. You can put them together like so and then you throw them out and every time there's always a point that stands up, you know, to step on. So uh, my biggest concern, you know, I thought about maybe not even making a video and putting it on YouTube because these things are really, really dangerous. And if you do make these, be careful with them and make sure that you know how many you have. And if you get them out, count them. That way you make sure that you've got them all. Because I'm telling you, if you leave one of these on the floor and somebody steps on it, there's going to be a price to pay because somebody's going to be real PO'd, you know what I mean? So, again, on my video that I have that I'm going to show you how to make these, I'm hoping that you're going to be responsible enough to, uh, to make them, use a little common sense with them, don't go out and throw them around out in the park and lose them. These are to be used only when necessary. I've had these for years. I just happened to stumble across them. I had them put up. And, um, you know, it's they're just something that I don't mess with all the time. I, I have them. If I need them, I know where they're at. If I don't know where they're at, I know how to make them. So, anyway, I hope that, um, like I said, when you discover how to make these, be careful. I'll talk to you again on the next video.